Hey everyone, this is Buzzrod here and I'm back with a new video for RTS Siege Up and I'm just going to be covering some uh, a new feature that has been updated to the game. So uh, at the end of last year there were a few updates made uh, so let's look at it now. So there's some graphic improvements and level sharing. So um, that is in the Oh wait, sorry, it's in the editor and on the community tab. So you can see that there's a bunch of user submitted maps and they are ranked by the number of uh, likes. So most of these are still using the same win conditions. So you basically have an Age of Empires style game where you try and destroy your opponent's base and this is going to be uh, we'll, we'll go through some of the we'll just go through an example um, map um, let's say Golden Hills so you have to download the map if you want to play it so I'll still need to add bots um, before we go into it, uh, let's look at the other updates actually. So in the next update there's more uh, improvements to the level publishing and some more graphical updates, um, FPS. And the thing to note is the plans for this year. So there's going to be uh, more campaign levels and uh, multiplayer and new units. So those are the three big things that are coming. Um, so hopefully we'll soon be able to play this game multiplayer, which I think a lot of people are really interested in doing. So, um, but at the moment, I'm just going to show you some gameplay of uh, a 3v3. So the maps that came with the game don't actually have that many. I think it was like maximum four people so this is going to be interesting um let's see one two three four five six and we're going to do uh maybe right hand side versus left hand side that probably makes the most sense so let's put red on team one um blue on team one purple or rather pink in team one also all right Let's get into it. Okay, so we're I think top right, and then that's I. Right, there's our allies over there. So, um, one thing that was also added to the game it seems is the uh, wild animals, and I think you can harvest them for some food. Uh, I think we just have to manually target. These, they have like a reindeer skin at the moment, so I think that was just from the uh, Christmas update or something. So I'll get some guys on to wood, collect more wood, uh, we'll build a house. And uh, I probably won't show you the full game because I, I suspect it's going to take uh, a while because it, it is a 3, 3v3 after all. Uh, we'll just get more wood. Let's see, so. That's already ours. Um, one of the things I think the developer is actually working on is a minimap because, uh, especially on a map like this where there's a 3v3 and it's like, if I pan out all the way or rather zoom out, have to scroll quite a fair bit just to say look at my opponent my ally on the other side and then also scrolling back so one of the features in a in the uh, regular RTS games on PC anyway is that you have a mini map and you can easily navigate to uh, another spot on the map very quickly by just clicking somewhere on that mini map so I think um, that would be really useful so I've already seen some screenshots of that uh, I might put that on the screen right now 
and I think the developer is just trying to figure out which one looks the best and how it would function. But yeah, I think best thing we, <laughs> uh, thing I'm gonna do is do my first attack and then um, probably just leave it there. Um, I'm gonna get a, was it a market? Oh yeah, that's the thing, you can get farms. That's really good because I have a fair bit of um, wood, but no. But running out of food. Try and hunt down this deer. It's like kind of running away. So I am playing on uh, actual my mobile phone, so you won't actually see the cursor or anything. So I'm just tapping uh, everywhere on the screen. Um, yeah, okay, so we should be able to get some uh, a market very soon. Um, oh, wait, there it is, market. So I'm just going to trade a lot of, uh, sell some wood, get a bit of uh, food just to boost it up a bit, and then we'll get a barracks and get some infantry. Let's see, barracks. Put the barracks there. Um, I'll get one of these guys. I'll go check out what my allies are doing. Oh, okay, so they're doing way better than me. They already have, uh... A bunch of archers coming to attack the um, the uh, opponents, so I should probably rally my troops out. Also, um, set a rally point out on the, across the bridge. Um, also, rally this uh, across the bridge here. So I already have two of these swordsmen, and yeah, let's go. Let's go. Okay. Um, what are we missing? We're missing stone. Let's trade for some stone then. Okay, let's get some more. Get some archers. Okay. It's not much, but we'll, uh, we'll go with it. Alright, so my opponent has taken out, well, taken control of the opponent's, uh, some of the opponent's gold mines. So I'll, I should probably go as well. Probably across this bridge. Um, get some more um, infantry. Okay, uh, let's sell some more wood. Sell, 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 sell. In this game, I always find the wood to be um, the easiest to easiest resource to acquire. So I always tend to just use the market to balance out all my resources. Um, so okay, let's get some more archers. Um, need more stone again. Okay. Buy, sell, 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 sell. Okay. All right, let's go. Whoa, didn't even notice. So my uh, troops were already attacking the opponents. So these heavy infantry here are pretty good. They're pretty tanky, so they can um, survive for quite a while. All right, so let's let's keep pushing in. If I can select people, <laughs> I think my game is a bit laggy because I'm recording and playing the game at the same time. But um, normally it isn't this bad. Um, but then again, it might also be that there's six, uh, six plays in total, including me. So I'll have to check that out later. All right, so we're in the opponent's base. Um, I think that's my ally in blue right there. I think they came to help. So they're fighting green. I'm also fighting green. All right. Okay, let's keep pushing into their base. All right, so their army is definitely ready for us. We'll go and fight them head on here, let's go. I 
Probably gonna need a bunch more troops here, so let's uh, make sure to queue some more in. Um, sell some uh, wood again, get some more stone because we're always low on that. Sell some more wood. Um, we need a house actually, so let's build another house. Let's drop that there. Alright, let's get back to the front lines. Um, <laughs> alright, everyone's dead. Okay, oh wait, why do these guys walk back? Oh no. Why did you go? Walk? May have may have misclicked there, but didn't realize. Let's continue the attack. Um, okay, let's select everyone from here. Let's just walk directly onto that bridge. Same as everyone else here. Let's go. So the skull, this uh, stone. Miner has been captured again by green. Oh, they're actually coming for us this time, so we'll uh, engage them. They even got a catapult. Actually, two catapults. Alright, let's select everyone. Oh. Okay, let's keep pushing. Um, I'll probably end the video soon, like just after. We'll see how long we could uh, last with this this army right now. I know it's not really much um, because I'm, you know, like it. Actually, trying to commentate myself and and play the game. Always find it a bit difficult doing that, but uh, yeah, actually might meet might actually be okay since my ally is coming in with uh, a bunch of knights. So I think we're actually pretty good. Um, a good chance we're gonna take out green. We have plenty of troops here now. So the AI does uh, auto attack um, any enemy troops that are nearby, so don't really have to click anything at the moment. Or really retarget. I'm just gonna go straight for this um, keep here. Oh, and that's that one soldier coming out, we'll just like attack him. Alright, so let's let's try and take out the keep where it's, it's already uh, halfway dead, so. Pretty good. Right, it's down, and we'll take out the barracks here so they stop spawning more infantry units. Yeah, I think uh, this is uh, gonna be a wrap on green at least. So it's almost dead actually. Uh, there's like a house left, actually, two houses are left. And yeah, they're pretty much destroyed now. Alright, so let's look at the other um, areas of the map here. So there's still a bit of fog of war, but you can see some of it. Uh, well, you can still see the terrain when it's uh, been explored already. So blue is still attacking with uh, some archers. And uh, I wonder where my, uh, my other opponents are at. So I think this is, this must be the third, uh, or one of the opponents down here. And I think the other one was somewhere around here. But yeah, um, that's basically been the, uh, what was this, showcase of the custom maps that are now available on this uh, game. So this is really going to be good for people to make new content, make new maps, and really, uh, extend the life of the game so yeah uh i'm just gonna leave it there i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you next time oh and please if you're new uh give the video a like and subscribe and it'll really help to grow my channel all right see you later